Between 1981 and 2011, the shuttle flew more than 130 successful missions. The orbiter could re-enter the atmosphere and land like an airplane. The Discovery was in dire need of improvements and was attached to a 747 that carried it across the country. It flew over much of the United States and across the Wasatch Front, giving Utah residents a glimpse of the shuttle before landing at Salt Lake International Airport in the evening of September 27, 1995. Come here! Come here! Come look at this! Right on schedule, only six hours late. <laughs> I just happened to turn around in time. Who's that yelling? I don't know. Right there. That? Do you see it? Do you see the two airplanes? Well, actually, one's an airplane, the other one's a shuttle. But there's up in space. You got a telephoto, Ray? I do from my other camera. No. He doesn't have film in the other one. Mine's in the house. See, here it comes. Twice. Here it comes. Hey, that's a good view right there. Look at that. It, pro uh, it probably did fly over Ogden. Yeah, From there, Discovery would go into space 18 more times over the course of the next 15 years. Today, the Discovery resides permanently in Virginia at an extension of the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum.
really. Don't you remember when the space shuttle flew overhead? After 30 years of service, with cheers and tears along the way, the shuttle landed for the last time in 2011. Shuttle Endeavour takes to the skies one last time from Kennedy Space Center on September 19th. And wheels up. After a brief flyby, the Boeing-built 747 carrier aircraft with the shuttle riding piggyback banked west for a stop in Houston. Zero and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Endeavour and all her sister ships were built in California, and landing in Los Angeles marks a fitting end to the NASA space shuttle program after three decades of discovery and exploration. Now she's returned home. While she'll never fly again, her legacy will live on in California. As the fleet's youngest ship, Endeavour flew 123 million miles on 25 flights.